So I've made some improvements um, to the arm. I'll run it for a bit and then talk you through what's different. Uh, so starting from the bottom position, I can adjust a slider and position it upwards. and back down again. So how's that going? How's that working? Um, so I replaced the really lame um, flex strip uh, with a much nicer chip called an AS5040, which unfortunately you can't really see because of the uh, mounting system, but basically on this board there's a little uh, circuit board mounted, you can just barely see, and on that is the AS5040 itself, and that is rigidly mounted to the base of the arm. Then off the pivoting member itself here um, is this small board, and inside there is a little rare earth magnet, which you can't really see, but take my word on it. And it's all arranged such that the magnet and the chip itself are all in line with the uh, the axis of rotation of the arm. So when the arm raises up, the magnet pivots right on top of the chip. The chip senses the magnetic field and sends a signal out, which um, just a serial signal and says the angle. Um, precise to two, maybe three degrees. Um, could get it a little bit more, a little bit better if I smoothed it some, but I'm not sure I want to give up the temporal resolution. Um, that all goes back to the same Arduino I was using before with the same horrible mess of wiring. Um, but now I've loaded on a nicer um, professional PID controller package so it's not just doing ugly hysteresis. Though at these speeds it doesn't really matter um, when we get, when I replace the, uh, the little um, hydraulic pump there with something with a higher flow capacity and this starts moving along in a better clip, that'll become more important. But, um, Fairly precise control, fairly, e fairly easy um, of, real, of a real hydraulic system, so hexapod moves along.